Underwater robots can explore seas and rivers, gathering in groups to solve problems together if they learn how to cooperate. So how can we teach them? Engineers working on a European research project have developed drone submarines which talk to each other using sound signals. What you see here are underwater robots that are able to communicate and cooperate with each other, creating the so-called Internet of Underwater Things. It's a novel concept that allows different devices such as sensors and robots to exchange information. This opens up new ways to monitor our oceans, lakes and rivers. A group of robots, each carrying a particular set of sensors, will scour the seabed looking for a lost object or a chemical leak. By working together, they can collect a lot of information in a short space of time. The acoustic communication is very similar to how humans speak. The vehicles talk to each other underwater using the range of frequencies that goes from the frequencies made by our voices up to the inaudible acoustic spectrum. So what can they see underwater? The submarines transmit data to a control center on the ground. Their exact position and some environmental factors, such as the temperature and the chemical composition of the seawater, are then displayed. Several vehicles operate in the area at the same time and we control them all from this center. We give them instructions like move from point A to B and we monitor them almost in real time. We use an acoustic channel when they're underwater or radio when at the surface. Their waterproof casing allows the submarines to dive to depths of up to 100 meters. Depending on the mission, they can be configured differently to collect, record and transmit various types of data. Along with the acoustic modem that allows the submarine to communicate underwater, it has environmental sensors, a computer system that allows it to navigate underwater, batteries that keep it going for eight hours, and modules for radio and satellite communication. Crucial for search and rescue operations, an onboard sonar device finds sunken objects by emitting pulses of sound and listening for echoes. It's already helped to find a lost container in the port area of Porto. Such devices are useful for three main applications. First, for port security. Second, for environmental monitoring, which is very important to us. And third, for inspections of the ships that dock at the port. From oceans to rivers, many submarines work wherever it's too risky or too expensive to send human divers. The new technology should give us a better understanding of the silent world. From the discovery of underwater volcanoes and archaeological sites to the protection of our coasts, infrastructure and ports, this technology will give us a much deeper understanding of our world. And that's an essential element to the future of humanity.